using an AC to DC power supply and we'll look at uh, current here on the meter and let's activate the uh, fuel coil you can see I'm about 19 milliamps let me graph out the uh, response here a very crude frequency response of the loudspeaker with it just laying here on the bench with a microphone in close proximity looking at the staircase above the bar graph you can see the uh, frequency response I started out generating a signal around uh, 100 Hertz all the way through about 11 K gives you an indication here of the uh, response itself again outside of an enclosure looking for the uh, voltage here to uh, settle in somewhere around 130 to 140 volts DC probably can't see it on the camera view but the uh, pilot lamp is uh, starting to illuminate and I'm about 80 volts AC here on the input side. Looks like we should hear something. Make sure I've got the volume up. All right, there we go. Starting to get some noise. We may get a little vibration here as well. So that's a good sign folks this thing appears to be working again the uh, output power itself is going to be just under one watt based on the uh, reduced uh, operating voltages and you can see here I'm about uh, 136 I'm just right at that 140 that I was uh, hoping to uh, see So I think we'll call this a success. I've got to uh, get that dust cap placed on when it comes in. And if the weather allows uh, between now and uh, late fall, early winter, we'll try to uh, get the uh, music air cabinet restoration uh, portion published as well. If not, I'll uh, just put it aside and uh, we'll tackle it uh, early next year. I appreciate you guys uh, watching this series on the rebuild of the uh, loudspeaker for the Music Air Radio back from around 1939. Everyone out there, uh, stay well and take care.